Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you how to make your mistakes into a beautiful piece of art. You're going to need a piece of paper and a marker. Um, you're going to want a black marker, but it doesn't have to be a sharpie. We're going to start here at the top left and start drawing a line that comes down and to the side. And then we're going to go up and make a loop and down and make another loop and another loop. And each loop could be a different size if you want it to be. So let's make a really big one and maybe a small one. And then, oh, I kind of messed up there, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. So don't worry too much. It's kind of messed up right here. We can fix that. And then later, we're going to make it into a really cool design. Let's add a line for the bottom. Now we're going to turn these into fish. So one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top and we're going to start by making his face. So I'm going to make a curved line here and a circle and another circle for the eye. And then make him smile. This is going to be a happy fish. We're going to add some gills so he can breathe underwater. And then we're going to add the dorsal fin. The dorsal fin is the fin that is on top of the fish. And then we'll make a pectoral fin. And then back here in this triangle area, we're going to make a tail. So that's his tail. And then over here, there's a smaller loop. And I feel like this fish is going to be a little bit sleepy. So I'm going to make a sleepy looking fish with his eyelid. like that. Maybe he's a little bit grumpy. Somebody woke him up. Add his dorsal fin. And then a tiny tail because he's much smaller. And then let's go ahead and add some gills on this fish as well. Like that. Maybe he's got some Z's coming out of his mouth because he's so tired. And next, let's move on to the next fish. So over here, I want to make a grumpy face because I think I'm going to make him a shark. Make him have a mad eyebrow. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a grumpy shark. We got to add his fin, some gills, and sharks kind of have pointy tails, so we're going to add some points to that. And then this big fat bubble over here, I want to make this a whale, so I'm going to add a huge smile because they have large mouths. They've got a blowhole at the top of their head. And I'm going to add a big eye. Like that. Now from the blowhole, I'm going to add some water coming out of it. Even though our whale is underwater, I still want to make sure people know it's a whale. And then we're going to add this heart-shaped tail, almost like a bow and arrow, like that. How about a girl fish? You could have a nice eye with some eyelashes. Add some eyelashes like that. And I think I'm going to add some big lips. That's kind of fun. And then most girls have nice long hair, so I'm going to give her big, curly, long fins. And then to make her even more girly, I'm going to add some polka dots as if she's stylish.
And then what am I going to do with this messed up um, loop over here? I think I'm going to make him a clownfish, but not like a little Nemo clownfish, but an actual clown. So let me go ahead and work on the eye because when we look at clowns, they usually have a lot of face paint on. So I'm going to make it look like this guy has face paint on. Like that. Maybe give them some big lips as if they're painted on. Make them have big puffy hair. But not actual hair, just puffy fins. Give them a clown hat. And I'm going to add some stripes. Give them a lot more color and attitude with the stripes. These are wavy stripes. Because nothing on this guy is going to be perfect. It's going to be as if everything's painted on him. Now whenever I think about the ocean, I always think about there being things at the bottom of the ocean. Like maybe a treasure box. Let's start off with a rectangle. Bring it down at an angle. Like that. And there should be a lock on this treasure box because I've never known any treasure box to just be wide open. Add a little lock to it. Now there's somebody else that hangs out under the sea. So I'm going to go ahead and make this guy's home. You tell me if you know who it is. Can you tell what I'm making? That's right, it's a pineapple. And who lives in a pineapple underneath the sea? SpongeBob. We're going to make his driveway or walkway. And then his friend's house is right next door. And Patrick lives under a rock. Maybe we add a shell, which we start off with a spiral and come down. Just like that. And now we can add some details. Add some bubbles. The shark looks like he's mad at somebody. Maybe he's mad at like a little tiny fish. Wouldn't that be funny? I'm going to add a little tiny fish over here. And then this guy looks really happy. Maybe he's happy because he sees something he wants. So I'm going to make a hook and then add a worm. Now you can see I kind of messed up by putting that line through the worm, the hook through the worm. So I'm going to add other lines to this and you won't even notice. And that's how we fix our mistakes. Pretty cool.